Hello and welcome to uh, whatever hell part I'm on, part 19, Sonic 3 and Knuckles. <laughs> My let's play. Oh, I'm off to a glorious start here, aren't I? Well, we're in the Sandopolis zone, and uh, for the most part, it's exactly the same, especially the first act, like it is with so many levels. I do take some different paths that only Knuckles can get into, though. So at least I try to make it a little different. Um, I probably should have just jumped down here. And, uh... Yeah, I'm getting the last Super Emerald I need in this stage, and I will show off Hyper Knuckles. I can't remember if I do it in Act 1 or if I do it in Act 2, but I do show it off in this part. Now this is a Knuckles-only route, but... I remember that if I just sink down here and go to the left, there's a special ring. And which Chaos Emerald is this? The sixth one? No, it's the seventh. Knuckles got all Super Emeralds. So let's light this Emerald up, light up the big Master Emerald, and then I can become Hyper Knuckles. Which is activated the same way as Super Knuckles, and Super Sonic, and Hyper Sonic, and Super Tails. Yeah, there's a Super Tails in this game, but not a Hyper Tails. So, and the only way to get to Super Tails is to get all the Super Emeralds with Tails. He kind of got gypped, but at the same time, Hi Super Tails is completely broken. <laughs> I mean, Hypersonic and Hyper Nails are broken. Super Tails makes them look not broken. Now, I came so close to turning into Hyper Knuckles here, but then this jackass sandworm hits me. These scorpion bots, which I do not like, by the way, I forgot to mention that. Those scorpion bots are almost on the same level as Slicers in Metropolis Zone of Sonic 2. Almost. <laughs> Nothing is as annoying as a Slicer. But hey, instead of Hyper Knuckles, we still get to hear the annoying invincibility music because I'm invincible now! Um, I'm coming pretty close to the end, I'm pretty sure, here. I do turn into Hyper Knuckles, but it's right at the end of the first act. <sighs> Keep going. Keep going, get away from the sandworms. Get away from the, uh... Guy in a rock. <laughs> yep, Hyper Knuckles. He is... What Hyper Knuckles was to Sonic, er, <laughs> oh god. What Hyper Sonic was to Sonic, Hyper Knuckles is to Knuckles. He's faster, he can breathe underwater, he's got an after image. I'm not sure if he jumps higher or not, he seems to still have just the same jump height. Um, he glides faster, climbs walls faster, and when you glide into a wall, it creates a shockwave that, uh, destroys all enemies on screen. This mini boss again, I just, uh, Decided I'd show off the other method. And that's just by baiting him into jumping at you. Yeah, not hard at all. Though in Act 2, we get to see uh, why Knuckles' story takes place after Sonic's again. There's a very good indicator of it. We will see that shortly. After this guy, um... Shows us that he has taken no swimming lessons. And he especially hasn't taken quicksand swimming lessons. Oh, how about that? A fire shield, that'll help. See, so yeah, Act 1, nothing really different. I took some different paths, but. Not a huge deal. So now we go in here. Inside, Act 2. And the ghosts are already, are already out and in attack mode. That's how you know this takes place after Sonic's story. Now, um, I kind of clipped through the wall there a little bit. And like I said, lots of clipping issues are happening in this playthrough. <laughs> Nothing I can do about that, though. You know, shit happens. Hmm... <laughs> Uh, 
Yeah, Act 2, it's uh, basically the same. It just gets different at the very end. Oh, I will get to show off how you're actually supposed to fight the boss. Because I wasn't Hyper Knuckles. Yeah, there's the canister that released the ghosts. Obviously, they're already released, so... I will say it again. Sonic's story, or Knuckles' story takes place after Sonic's. Also, here's something I didn't know about. If you climb up there, you can find another secret ring. So let's really show off Hyper Knuckles now. Or try to. Okay, I completely jumped over that. Um, This is a hard level to talk about. <laughs> it helps that I don't like it, and uh, yeah, I noticed that I completely forgot to push this switch. I jumped over it the first time. I don't need that. Okay, maybe I do need that. Uh, oh god, it's all going horribly. Horribly, horribly wrong. There we go. I don't need to use your springs. Oh, I slowed it all down by grabbing this pulley grappling repel repel hook that's what it is <sighs> I don't even have any random crap to talk about this time I mean I talked about TV shows and comic books and all that stuff in my last part and then this part it's all uh, pauses and Um, what have I been playing lately? Well, I play a lot of TF2. I'm always playing a lot of TF2. Usually with a couple buddies of mine, or just one, but sometimes more. I've been playing WWE 13 a lot, which just had its final DLC pack come out not too long ago, actually. Which is a very good DLC pack. I recommend that one. All kinds of good superstars in there. You got Antonio Cesaro, the Usos, Flying Brian Pillman, uh, Chainsaw Charlie. Yeah, big deal, right? <laughs> I guess Damien Sandow and Layla were in it too, but I'm not too big on them. Mainly because I think Damien Sandow is holding Cody Rhodes back. Yeah, they're a tag team right now, and I think Cody Rhodes should be main eventing. He needs to get the hell away from Damien Sandow. Oh look, the ghosts. Are they going to go into attack mode? I don't think so. Now, going up here, I thought there was another giant ring, but I guess there wasn't. Uh, I didn't want that water shield. I liked my lightning shield. Speaking of wrestling, The Rock's back again. And I'm sure he'll be around pretty frequently for the next uh, three months or so. And the Royal Rumble's coming up. That's always been my favorite event. I've only actually seen one of them when it first came out, though. And that was the 2006 Royal Rumble. And that one wasn't even the last match. <laughs> no, they had to put a... the World Heavyweight title match on last because The Undertaker came out at the, out at the end and uh, destroyed the ring. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is the different part of Knuckles' <laughs> route here. Oh, and we're going to find out why I really hate these scorpion bots. Because they're bullshit. Anyway, you had to climb up the wall on the right there. And you can climb up those barricades in this one. That's why I tried to test it in an earlier part, but it didn't work. It's a little puzzle, because then you get the sand out. And that lever will close really fast, so that's why you have to push the block in its way. Fuck. 
fucking scorpions. Scorpio! I love that episode of The Simpsons. It's probably one of my favorite episodes, if not my favorite episode. <laughs> It's just... too funny. <laughs> the Simpsons was a great show for the longest time. So for some reason I can't climb that wall there. Oh well, boss time. There's been some uh, decent episodes of The Simpsons lately though, too. Like the uh, episode where Marge, Bart, and Lisa become foodies. I enjoyed that episode. Just as long as I don't have to see the fucking episode where Bart adopts a kid again. Oh my god, I've seen that so many times lately because Fox are really trying to shove the new seasons down our throat. If you go on Fox and see it says it's an episode of The Simpsons, it's one of the latest season. It doesn't matter if they've repeated it about 20 freaking million times already, they're going to repeat it again. That's why I watched my... Uh, what happened there? It, it was like the boss graphics respawned in for some reason. <laughs> I completely lost my train of thought. Okay, let's go to Lavarith. <laughs> Next part.